close your eyes and imagine. Look at these. Huh? Antique clothing. Clothing that's been worn. But by whom? They say clothes maketh the man or woman. But what sort of person needs to make a statement with their clothing? I'll bet some of these could tell a tale or two about their former owners. Take this for instance. Someone special had obviously had this tailor made for them. It's a real bargain too. But with this particular dress, you'd be getting more than you bargained for. Okay, Rosa, that was fine. <laughs> but I'm not finished yet, ma'am. Oh, I have a good idea of your vocal range now. <laughs> yeah, B flat. <laughs> Quiet out there. You did very well, Rosa. Wait with the others. Lucy, you're next. Hey, that was pretty good for your first audition. I got the lead. I'm the best. A couple of pizzas and back to my place to celebrate, guys. All right, it's party time. Oh, geez. I left my notebook in the theater. Be a sweetie and get it for me, Brad. Sure. I'll only warn you once, flat note. Brad's mine. Mess with him, and you'll mess with all of us. Understood? OK, I, I didn't know. Hey, you can't do You can't do that. You do now. Lucy! Let her go. It's not there. Oh. Oh, silly me. I had it all the time. Come on. Did you do this, Rosa? No, ma'am. And who did? I don't know. Well, clean it off then, now. Isn't that typical? People jumping to conclusions. The innocent party getting the blame and the bully getting away scot-free. Bullies often back off if you stand up to them. But that takes a lot of courage. And Rosa isn't feeling too brave right now. But help is on the way from a very unexpected quarter. laughed at my singing. Who did? Who laughed? Everyone. What? What is going on? They got no right. I'll go and give them a piece of my mind. If 
forget it. Um, nobody likes me there. Of course they do, princess. You're terrific. Thanks, but you're a one-person fan club. I don't want to go there anymore, Mom. <sighs> Rosa. Rosa, you gotta hang in there. You gotta have drive if you want to get to the top. Well, what if I'm not good enough? Oh, don't talk crazy. Maybe Dad was right. Maybe I should have stuck to science. If he was right, it'd be the first time. Hey, come on, what have I told you? You're gonna be the best, right? Now, no more doubting Dorothy. We're off to see the wizard and nothing's gonna stop us. Remember? That's my girl. We're doing Romeo and Juliet, except it's meant to be set in the 20s. We've got to find our own costumes. Could you run me up a dress, Mom? I just don't have the time. I'm going to be late for my extra shift. Tomorrow, first thing, we'll look in the charity shop. Oh, Mom. I can't afford new. Your dinner's in the oven. If Dad was here, he'd buy it for me. Well, he ain't here, is he? I'm sorry, Mom. I, sh I shouldn't have said that. We'll find you something nice, Princess, I promise. We'll knock him dead, huh? <sighs> okay, Prudence, I'll feed you. Stop nagging. Well, that little guinea pig's getting nowhere fast, or maybe she just likes the exercise and doesn't want to go anywhere at all. Rose's mother wants her daughter to go somewhere, right to the top. Do you get the feeling that Rosa's mom wants her to be a famous star more than Rosa does herself? Rosa is just too weak or too nice to say no. But that can get you into a lot of trouble. Rosa might as well be locked in a cage herself for all the freedom she has right now. On me. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Princess. <laughs> Where's the rest of the money you owe us? Oh, Mama, don't start. Look, I'm just a little short at the moment. Mm. Mm. You greedy pig. Ah, uh, Porky strikes back. It's a professional pig, Rosa. Here, we need rent money, not hot dogs. Mom. Come on, Rosa. Hey. You want to see her? Help pay for her keep. Mom. You see, Rosa, how she shuts me out. Me, shut you out. Why did you ever make room for me? With your TV and your... Your fantasy musicals and your fancy dreams for Rosa. Dad, I got into the performing arts school. Did Mom tell you? I told her not to send her there. Where you left, remember? She doesn't belong there, Bridget. She'll never be a star. Go on. Encourage her, why don't you? Dad, I'll show you. You'll see. Don't bother, Rosa. Princess! I think you were really mean to him. Yeah, well, I got horns and your dad's got a halo. Rosa, look at this. Roll over, Judy Garland. Here comes Rosa Martinelli. It was made to measure, you know. Quite beautiful workmanship, and costly, too. I imagine it's got quite a history. You look stunning. <laughs> What's the matter? I don't know, I just went cold. Are you coming down with something, Princess? N no, it's... It's this dress. It feels cold. Nonsense. I think you look lovely in it. We'll have it. Go take it off. Just wait till they see you at that stool. You're gonna knock them dead. Have you ever had that feeling, what's the expression, as if someone had walked over your grave? A chill or a shiver down your spine? That moment when the hair stands up on the back of your neck? You can't put words to it, but you know something's not right. That's how Rosa felt. She loved the dress, but there was something odd about it. As usual, though, her mother made the decision, and Rosa wound up with the dress, odd or not.
Maybe it was car headlights catching it. No. Then it was a nightmare. Go to sleep now. Don't go yet. We'll leave the bedside lamp on. Oh, I gotta get some sleep. I'm on the red eye shift. Can you get your own breakfast? It's time we got rid of that old thing. No. Dad made it for me. He looked real sad today, don't you think? Don't start. You loved him, didn't you? Sure. And he loved me. He still does, I know. Could have fooled me. Mom, do you think if I proved I really was a great actress, and it's what I wanted to do, would he come back? Would you let him? When I met your dad, I was a waitress. And then one rainy afternoon, you saw Judy Garland on TV. That's right. You are my lucky charm, keeping, keeping me safe from harm. <laughs> and you ran away to be an actress. Your dad didn't want me to. But he ran right after me. Gave up his job, everything. Here I am, still a waitress. He never forgave me. Thought I'd wasted my life chasing silly dreams. So you gotta understand, he's scared the same thing's gonna happen to you. But it won't, Princess. You're not gonna disappoint anyone, understand? I'm here to see you get the breaks I never got. Yes, Mama. Sleep now. And then he'll come back? We'll see. Rosa didn't get much sleep that night. For a young girl, she had a lot on her mind and no one to share it with. What she needed was a friend, but she wasn't going to find one among her classmates. Not if Lucy had anything to do with it. <laughs> what are you looking at? Uh, nothing. Write something. Uh, no, I don't want to. Rosa Martinelli? I think you better come with me. <laughs> hey, can it, flat note? Did you rat on us, flat note? No. Certain? Yes. Well, we'll just show you what'll happen if you do. <laughs> oh. Rosa? Sorry, Mrs. Mammoth. If I were you, after today, I'd be walking on eggshells, not charging around like a bull elephant. Walk. Sorry. Hey, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. Stay away from him. Brad's my property. I don't want your ugly boyfriend. Anyone who fancies you must be a moron. Vicious little secondhand Rose? I can't wait to see your costume tomorrow. Brad? Rosa, wait! Are you okay? What happened? Did you see her? Who? The girl I ran into. What girl? She was just there. Hey, what's your hurry? What do you want? Just to tell you, I'm nobody's property. Oh, I see. You want to use me to get at Lucy. We'll just keep your fight to yourselves. It's not like that. Honest. I like you. Is that so hard to believe? I don't fight over boys. You don't have to. You want to go out one night after rehearsals? A pizza? The movies? Doesn't sound that bad, does it? 
Even with an ugly moron like me? <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. I don't want any trouble. Rosa! But I didn't do it, Mom! You make another bad move at that school, and you're out. Expelled, you understand? I don't care! Well, I do! <laughs> Rosa, Rosa, open this door! It's not locked. What is this? A tantrum? I didn't do it. Clean up this mess. But I didn't do it, Mom. It's bad enough you're lying at school without lying to me as well. Honest, Mom. My God, you've turned the cross upside down. That's sacrilege. It wasn't me. I, I don't know what's happening. Nor do I. You were never like this. You were always a good girl. What's the matter, Rosa? The principal suggested you might want to speak to a school counselor. No. They'd only think I was lying as well. Well, talk to me then, but tell me the truth. I've got to get ready for work. feel great to open your mouth and just sing like a bird who who are you and how did you get in here you brought me me I didn't in the green dress what 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 are you talking about you are crazy G give me back my dress and get out of my bedroom I guess it is hard to believe <laughs> Watch. Neat, huh? Oh. oh my god, you're a ghost. Oh, don't be scared. I won't hurt you. No, let me out. Don't go. I'm here to help you, Rosa. Help me? You want to sing better, right? You want to show them all at school how good you are. Y yes, but, but... That's a cinch. Believe me. With my help... Julia Cartwright. It was my voice coming out of your mouth just now? Your voice? Well, you knew it wasn't yours, didn't you? I guess. Doesn't it feel great? Y yes. Want to do it again? No. Just stay where you are. Don't come any closer. Go away. Rosa, who are you talking to? It's okay. Only the owner of the green dress can see me. You're not starting to talk to yourself. No, I was, um... 
practicing my lines. Was that you singing right now? Yes. Wow, that school's really brought you on. They're gonna regret not giving you the lead. Yes, they will. No, no, I mean it. You ought to get them to listen to you again. Maybe I will, Mom. That's my princess. Come on, then, I'll make you supper before I go. It's okay. I have to watch my figure. Who's there? Bridget, what are you doing here? I'd have knocked, but there isn't a door. Do you think you should be visiting a strange man's hotel room at this time of night? I'm serious about the money, then. Oh, of course not. As you can see, I'm bedded down in luxury accommodation. You must want something pretty bad to track me down here. I'm worried about Rosa. She's been playing up at school. They've threatened to expel her if she doesn't pull herself together. Good. I told her that place was wrong for her. It isn't just the school. She's not herself at home. I, I can't explain it. She's lying, talking to herself. Today, her room looked like the devil's backyard. Even the holy cross above the bed was turned upside down. It isn't like her. She never, ever lied before. I'm really worried, Nick. So, what do you want from me? I thought maybe you could talk to her. The other day you said that I I know. Couldn't... I know well. Well, we all say things. And she listens to you. She needs her dad. You know the first thing that I tell her is to leave that school. No way. She's gonna be a star. Oh, and which universe? You gotta stop this, Bridget. You gotta stop making her live the light that you think you should have had. Just give her a chance, Nick. You should have heard her sing today, like a dream. Look, you obviously don't need my advice, so if you don't mind... It's past my bedtime. You're stubborn as a wart, Nicholas Martinelli. Yeah, close the door as you go. Yeah, there isn't one. Oh, pretend! You're good at that. Rosa's big day had arrived, or should I say Rosa and Julia's big day, for they were in this together. Though, whether they were chasing the same rainbow, we'll have to wait and see. For the moment, though, Rosa had a friend, even if she was a ghost. Julia, are you there? I'm here. Let's go knock him dead. This is seriously weird. <laughs> but fun, huh? <laughs> Okay, you can go now. Next. Second hand Rosa. <laughs> she bought it from a charity shop. <laughs> Quiet. You look like the bee's knees. Listen up, everybody. This is the sort of costume you should all try to find. A dress that has elegance, clean lines, and is perfect, period. Think 1920s, think New York. Thanks, Rosa. Next. She thinks she's in Gone with the Wind. She thinks she's in Gone with the Wind. <laughs> <laughs> might be better if that stayed off completely. And you might need to take off some of those extra bits, like the pin and the sash. Tell her to take it off completely. No. She needs to take it off completely. <laughs> Shh. Stop that. I suppose if I'd gone to some charity shop, I'd have the best dress here. Well, it is possible. Rosa certainly managed. Well, why don't you give Flat Note the lead and get on with your teddy old show without me? Now's our chance. Lucy O'Donnell, you come back here immediately. Tell her you can sing the lead. I can't do that. Of course you can. We've rehearsed it over and over, haven't we? Well, yes, but say it. I'll sing the lead, Mrs. Monmouth. I'll sing the lead, Mrs. Monmouth. Louder. What's that, Rosa? I'll sing Lucy's role. I'll sing Lucy's role. Shut up, flat nose. Quiet. 
I know the part. I know the part. It's fine with me, Mrs. Monmouth. Well, I suppose we do need to get on, so I suppose you can stand in for her. We'll take it from the love song. Act one. You were right. I'm sorry. I'm ready now. Lucky for you. What a shame you didn't sing like that at the audition, Rosa. Oh, you're great, Rosa. You're pretty cute yourself. <laughs> Forget it, Lucy. Forget it. After what she said in front of the whole class. You could have any boy in the school. I want Brad. And I'm not letting flat notes snatch him in front of everybody. We're gonna find them. Well, I can't. I've gotta help my mom in the store. I can't either. Come on, Lucy. Leave these two creeps. Some friends you are. No more free pizzas and parties for you. Lucy was like, when she saw it was you singing. <sighs> I guess she was kind of surprised, huh? So was everyone, I guess. <sighs> Anyway, mine's the chocolate milkshake. He is rather cute. Where did that voice come from? What voice? Your singing voice. Oh, that. Uh, I was nervous at the audition. Maybe a little young for us, though. What's wrong? Nothing. N nothing at all. I'm not nothing, Rosa. I want to get out of this dress. I'll see you home. I can't believe you brought her here. Of all places. Uh, I'm going, Brad. No, stay. Yes, stay there. You make a much better target. <gasps> my, my dress! Lucy! I know. Who did this? Rosa? Don't tell her. She might make you pull out of the show if she thinks it's a problem. It was an accident. Some accident. Rosa, princess, stop lying to me. It's me, your mom. I'm worried. If you're caught fighting again, you could be expelled. It's all right, mom. No, it isn't all right. This isn't about being brave, princess. Maybe you should pull out of the show. What? What? It's just the chorus anyway. Wait for something better, when they hear you sing. Uh, tell her no. No, Mom. No, I'm sorry. I'm not taking any more chances. I'll go down and talk to them tomorrow. Mom. No arguments, Roser. Say you'll tell them yourself. Well, at least let me tell them myself. Please, Mom. You'll tell them, promise? No more lies now. Trust me. If you won't, I will. You're not listening to her. 
You're not giving up. Yes. No, you're not. Now stand still. Still. And stand up straight. There. <sighs> you see? Perfect. Julia, that, that's amazing. You're a magic. Together, we will be. Believe me. Now. No more talk about quitting the show. I don't want to lie to my mom anymore, Julia. It's not that important. Not that important? No. Why is it so important to you? I was there, Rosa. I was there. This was you? My first Broadway musical. Can you imagine? A teenage girl from nowhere. A dream of a lifetime, Rosa, laid out in front of me and they stole it away in an instant. Who? How? I was on my way to meet my boyfriend at the docks. He was going to war, shipping out the same night I was opening on Broadway. I was late, so I took a shortcut across the tracks. I didn't see the train until I heard its whistle. I was caught in its headlight, like a star in a spotlight. <laughs> Only there was no applause. Oh, Julia, that's awful. That's all in the past now. Now I have you. And you have me. You wished you could sing better than Lucy? With me to guide you. You'll sing better than anyone. And then your dad'll see. that you and your mom were right. He'll want to come home. And then you'll have it all. Your family, your career, fame and fortune. Isn't that what you want, Rosa? And you can. All you have to do is let me into your soul. Is it a deal? A deal. It seemed too good to be true, everything that Rosa wished for. She could please her mother, win her father back, and have a glittering career. Who could blame her for making the deal? But in this life, you don't often get something for nothing. Everything has a price. Mm. And sometimes, you don't have a choice how much you pay in exchange. Mm, yeah. Rosa. Brad. What's wrong? Lucy's had an accident. What? She fell on the stairs. Says some girl pushed her. Who? Who would do that? She said she'd never seen her before. Was she badly hurt? Rosa, just the girl. Have you heard about poor Lucy? Yes, ma'am. It's awful. Uh, is it serious? Serious enough for her to miss the show. So... Coffee? No, thank you. You know, you're going to have to stop coming around here like this. People will talk. People are going to be talking about your daughter. So, what's Rosa done now? Got the lead in the school's big musical. Oh, Nick, you should hear her. Yeah, I've heard her, Bridget. No, not like this. Not like this. Bridget. It's a miracle, Nick. That's what it is. Our Rosa is going to be a superstar. Well, will you just come and see her on the first night? She wants you to. She wants her father there. Hey, Prudence. You know, it's a pity you can't come and see me tomorrow night. Don't you think it's cruel? 
keeping her caged up like that, never able to be free. Well, Dad said if I put her out, you know, she could get lost under the floorboards. Anything could happen to her. Well, nothing's gonna happen to her in there. Still, when you're a superstar, you can buy her a gold treadmill. It's not a treadmill. That's a fun wheel. She likes it. How do you know? Have you ever asked her? How do you know what she really wants? Poor thing, trapped in there. I think we should rename her Lucy. She's on a treadmill to know her as well. I still feel bad about that. Why? It wasn't your fault. Well, no. But... But what? At least now you're starring in the show. Your mom's not gonna make you pull out. I know. It's just... Are you sure you didn't have anything to do with the accident? Rosa? I told you. No. Why wouldn't you believe me? It's just an extraordinary coincidence. People fall downstairs all the time. <laughs> Bad luck for them. Good luck for someone else. You've got to ride your luck when it's there, Rosa. Come on. You should be in bed. We've got a big day tomorrow. Tomorrow night, she'd get her big chance. Everyone would be there. All eyes would be on her up there in the spotlight. And yet, she couldn't help feeling uneasy about how it had all happened. Was it just her good luck? Or was it something else? Something sinister. You're not supposed to be in here. I just wanted to tell Look, you. Look, I'm trying to focus. You should be too. I'm sorry, Brad. That wasn't kind of me. I, I'm just nervous, I guess. Forget your boyfriend. Concentrate. There are talent scouts out there tonight. I wish my dad was here. Five minutes, Rosa. It's gonna be a full house. Everything all right? You'll be fine. Don't let me down now, Julia. I'm inside you, Rosa. You've nothing to fear.
Judy Garland and Barbara Streisand all rolled into one. I am so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. Thank you for giving her a chance, Mrs. Mom. Thank you. She was terrific. Dad, you came. What did you think? Well, if someone wants to hand me a hat, I'll eat it. Hey. So. Congratulations. I, I couldn't have done it better myself. You're right. You couldn't have. We'll be waiting for you outside, okay? Well, we did it, Julia. Wasn't it just great? Just the best feeling ever. Yes, yes it was. But I didn't like what you did to Lucy. That wasn't nice. Oh, you wanted the part, didn't you? What do you mean? I was talking. You did do it, didn't you? You were the one who pushed Lucy down the stairs. Big deal. Julia, how could you? She could have been killed. Rosa, if you want to get to the top, you've got to step on a few people. No. No, I, I, I don't want that. I don't want to ever be like that. Not even for all the fame in the world. You fool. Who do you think you are? You think you had anything to do with what happened there tonight? What do you mean? <laughs> that was me up on stage. Not you. Julia, what are you doing to this dress? Let me go. We struck a deal. Yes, you're guiding me. Wrong. I'm taking over. Time to fly, little girl. There's a big wide world out there. Off you go now. Shoot. Poor Rosa. She was trapped. Where? We'll come to that. For now, Julia has taken control, and there was only one more thing to make her plan complete. Look at this. And this. I wouldn't be seen dead in half these things now. I hate them. I bought you that, Princess, for your birthday. Well, it's tat. Tat, tat, tat. Uh, quit fooling, Princess. Who's fooling? I'm going to be a star. I need some proper clothes. Rosa! What? What's gotten into you? What's wrong, Mom? You wanted me to have drive, didn't you? Ambition to get to the top? But not like this. Not so selfish. I'm going to get rid of these. And this. Especially this. Lucy, thank God you've come. Who's that? It's me, Rosa. Uh, Rosa, where are you? I'm trapped in this dress. What? It's crazy, I know. But please, you've got to believe me. This is a setup, right? No, look, you've got to help me get my body back. You're, th you're throwing your voice somehow. I'm not. I'm in the dress. Oh, this is nuts. Just look in the mirror. Please. Hey, get off me! Let me go, loser! Hello, Julia. Nice to meet you at last, Julia. Leave me alone, or I'll call the teacher. Oh, I don't think so. 
but I know someone who does want to speak with you. Rosa? Julia, I want my body back. Do we have your attention, Nell? Give me the dress. No. You gave it away, remember? You gave little Rosa away after making me look like an idiot and trying to kill me. Prove it. You're a tough cookie, but you're not gonna get away with it. Julia, I just wanna go home. Come back in the dress. No way, I'm out. Look, I don't want to be a star anymore. You're not, I am. And there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, I don't know. What was it we decided on, Rosa? Exorcism, wasn't it? I don't want to disappear. I was going to be a star. I want to be a star. Then... Come to me. What? With my looks and your talent, who could stop us? Lucy, you don't know what you're saying. And I've got a rich family. Not like secondhand Rosa. You can have all the designer clothes you want. What do you say? You're inviting me into your soul? To share it. You must promise to share. Sure. Lucy, no. No more lead roles for you then, Rosa. We're sorry to see you go, Rosa. St. Bernadette's is a good school, but I want you to know with a voice like yours, you had a very bright future. No, Mrs. Monmouth, I have a very bright future. Best of luck. <laughs> I'll miss you. You know where I live. See you, Rosa. See you. Bye. <laughs> Let's go. Many of us dream of winning fame and fortune and all the things that go with them. But how far do you go to gain them? I don't think selling one's soul, no matter what the prize, will bring you happiness for long. Think about it the next time you hear that little devil on your shoulder urging you to do something against your instinct. If you let him, the devil will end up the driver. And you'll end up going along just for the ride, no matter how terrifying. I'm trapped in this dress. Over here. Here. Somebody buy me. Help me. Let me out. Please. In the silence of a sleepless night.
close your eyes.